Hey guys, this is Nick with Sinister Trades Gaming. Today we're going to do another practice round with one of our heroes just to take a look at some tactics and play styles. Today we're going to do Gazlo. This is his purchased skin. Unfortunately, they don't have a master skin for him right now. Um, a lot of us are looking forward to that master skin, so. Until then, we gotta be a big clown and beat people up. Alright. Instantaneous cue, of course, in the practice matches. Okay, and I am gonna try and stretch it out a little bit today. Um, it's very, very easy to beat the round before level 16 or level 20. But, uh,. Unfortunately, then you don't get to see some of the greatest uh, talents. The level 16 talents are really quite powerful. And then the 20s, of course, uh, are very nice also. All right, today on the build, we're going to do point defense. There are two different builds that I uh, commonly use on Gazlo. Everybody thinks Gazzo is a murking machine. He is a murking machine, I won't deny that. He can solo basically any merc in the game, every merc in the game. Bosses, it takes a little bit later, but again, he can solo them very easily. We're gonna go ahead and pick the break it down trait, increased scrap cooldown reduction. This, uh, this puts another three seconds on his, uh, his bolts that drop it, the cooldown cool down reduction on them. Alright, of course because this is a practice match I'm gonna go ahead and overextend. I would never do this during a, a PvP match. You would be putting yourself out there. Pretty hard. Alright. Come in here and do a little bit of Fun with these guys. Now the important thing about Gazlo to understand is that a lot of his damage is from these turrets. You need to stay around the turrets, try and hang out inside this circle of, uh, of destruction from your turret. Because uh, a lot of your damage will be will be dealt by them. They allow you to move around and not be stuck on melee with the person that you're fighting. To avoid ground-based attacks and AoEs. So really you want to draw your enemies back into these turrets and kind of play a running game. This is my lane pushing setup. I like to push the three of these right behind the half of the lane so that when the enemy troops come in, they will not have to fight your turrets, but when they mash up with your minions, they uh, the turrets will do some serious damage to them. All right, for our second talent, we're going to go ahead and pick Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. I'm sorry, Clockwork Steam Fists. Uh, reduce, Reuse, Recycle is not a bad talent. It kind of depends on if you're going to be laning or uh, or murking in this case. I'm definitely not going to attempt to lane. It's uh, the Tribute map. So I would go with Point Defense. So Clockwork Steam Fist, what it does is it increases the duration of your turrets when you melee. So as I'm meleeing here, you can see the counter bar there just tapping up ever so slightly. And so cannons will stay out indefinitely if you are meleeing. This, this might be a little dangerous here. Might be able to get a 
Vala kill. Alright, AIs are not, I should probably return home. Alright, now, this is the major talent right here. You have either the mercenary talents, the Merc, Merc Lord. This increases the damage and health of mercenaries. The other option, as I like to call it, is point defense. This meaning... This meaning, of course, that you're going to go ahead and try and defend one certain point, leave your turrets there, and uh, and try and hold the location, such as Dragon Shrine or, of course, the Raven's Tribute. All right, the skill that I picked was Rocket Turret XL. Rocket Turret XL allows it to hit two targets. Um, it's a very useful ability. Two additional targets for 50% each. Once again, I am going to try and stall this game just so that we can see our level 16, level 20 talents. By level 10, you really should not have a problem fighting knights, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, the low-level strategy for fighting your knights. I took the grav bomb. I'll explain that in just a second. On the knights, you want to kill this little guy first. The little guy, of course, is the healer of the group, the caster. So you want to get behind him if you can and put your turrets right to the sides of him. Start your battle up. Then go ahead and drop your C-form charge. You noticed I waited just a second there on my cooldown, so that way I could have a turret come up before the other ones are done. With the uh, Rocket Turret XL, of course, this is very, very easy to accomplish because your turrets are already hitting two additional targets. All right, now what I'm going to do is I will, uh, if, if the AIs let me here, they'll probably show up too quickly, but I'm going to show you a low-level solo of a, go a golem. Uh, this is not always easy, and you definitely have to approach it the right way if you, If you take him on the wrong way and don't use your turrets to block, then you will take too much damage. All right, now what I did there was I ran down to go ahead and use Clockwork Steam Fist so that I could extend the time on my turrets enough to give me two more turrets. Now I need to start the engagement. I'm going to take as much damage as I can. Yeah, of course, Vala shows up. The idea is to take as much damage as you can and then back out. At that time, the golem will attack your turrets. Your turrets count as additional targets. The golem always attacks the target closest to him. So if you step back behind your turrets, the golem will then attack your, your turrets instead of you. The turrets can only take about three hits, maybe two. Uh, they, uh, they will also be affected by the AoE crash that he does. So you do need to be aware of that and stay on top of it. Fala stepped into a bad situation there. This, uh... <laughs> I should have been careful. This might actually end the game a little too fast. Between the boss downstairs and, uh, and the one that'll be showing up here, this, uh, this will probably be too much for the computer to handle. Once again, I'm going to wait for just a minute. So 
so that we can get closer on that cooldown. Again, the trick here is to make sure you drop those turrets as fast as possible when your cooldown is up. Back out during the green. Alright, as you can see, it was pretty much going the right way even before the, uh, the allies showed up. All right, here it is. Really, the level 16 talent is my favorite. Uh, turret storage. I could not in, uh, recommend this enough. Turret storage increases the number of turrets that you can carry to four. Um, being able to drop four turrets at a time and continue their duration by meleeing is, uh, is invaluable. It, uh... It is something that you will be able to constantly keep up, and as long as you keep picking up these those bolts there, then your mana and your cooldowns will be constantly replenished. The other nice thing is, of course, it does reduce the cooldown on your ult. Alright, that's game, unfortunately. We will uh, we'll demonstrate the gas bomb combo in another video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this walkthrough.